Tonight's edition of Review deals with the phenomenon of punk music. Not just a type of music, but a movement with its own lifestyles and codes of behaviour, outrageous as they might seem to us on the outside. But for the kids who identify with it, punk is a metaphor for the age in which they live. They spit, quite literally, on a society which has left many of them jobless and bored. For the punks here in Ulster, they have their own clubs and they have their own press. And they have persuaded an initially hostile music industry here in Belfast to give them recording facilities and gigs for local bands. Like it or not, punk is here. But if punk grew up in the streets, it rapidly spread to the avenues, parks, gardens and crescents of every suburb and every town in Britain. It comes in varying degrees of extremity, from the punkest punk who inflicts cigarette burns to his limbs and self-pierces his nose, to the schoolgirl with the gold dog collar or razor blade round her neck, although the clothes she keeps in the garage might just surprise her parents. Not since the mods and rockers of the mid-sixties have we had a cult which has attracted so many kids to the amazement of all the non-punk world. Tonight we give punk the attention it craves. Thank you. 